hello everyone welcome to my channel dynamic coder so today we start a video on how we can install Kali Linux on EVENG so as you can see here on my screen that I have logged in to, to the EVENG so this is my EVENG okay and uh, I am using HTTP 192.168.10.139 so I am on the browser I am using 10.139 right now we are installing Kali Linux in EVENG okay so for that first we go to Kali.org okay then go to downloads under downloads uh, you have two option this is installer image if you want your Kali Linux to be installed in your VMware workstation so you can you are recommended to use this image otherwise if you are installing uh, for your EVNG then go to virtual machines just click on virtual machines and you find this multiple options under 32 bit and 64 bit here for that we need chemo image okay so we just need to download this so you are allowed to download this when you click on this it will download it will be in winrar file you just extract that okay and further step I'll show you okay the next step is what you do is you have to go to winscp okay so winscp is here I have logged into 10.139 as a root account okay then here I told you before in my previous videos while installing any devices in EVNG that this is the side where all your files are stored in your computer and this is for the VM images okay so the next step is what you do is you have to select where your uh, your QCOW image is downloaded mine I have downloaded and stored it in D drive so I just go to D drive okay and under D drive yeah so here this is Kali Linux 2023.3 chemo image double click and this is the QCOW one now this side the right hand side is of uh, your uh, your VM side your EVNG side okay so now here's when you logged in you are into the root okay so for root you first have to select OPT then unit lab then add-ons then chemo okay so you are in this folder where you have multiple images that what you have uploaded in your EVNG okay now you have to create one new folder new directory okay so to create a directory just right click and new and new directory okay now I'll name it as Linux Kali okay and set the permissions as all to be 4 times 7 okay read write and execute okay and press okay so this is your just wait this is your Kali Linux folder okay so Linux L should be small case and it's like uh, hyphen and Kali okay and what you do is you s copy this QCOW image you just drag and drop it here okay so this will take some time your image will be copied from your left hand side to the right hand side okay so let's wait for a while I'm pausing this video okay so this is 73 percent now okay let's hold for a while okay so as we can see that uh, our QCOW image has been transferred from the PC to the EVNG directory okay now the next step is just right click and rename okay just remove this and the spell should be virtua virtioa okay dot qcow2 so this must be the name and it should be same because as per documentation of EVNG the image of Kali Linux should be named as virtioa dot qcow2 okay and just right click go to properties and here you can able to see that this is the permissions please allow all the permissions the total should be 7777 ok as you can see here click on ok you can see a read write read write ok 
so all those permissions should be given okay now the next step is we should minimize this and you can see this is the lab which is already there now what I'll going to do is I'll just close this lab and I'll create a new lab okay press ok just right click press on node select Linux press ok okay so number of nodes we are adding one node to CPU the RAM should be 4 GB of RAM okay all this setting keep it as default place save and we need to connect it to the internet go to network bridge network that we need to connect it to the internet from our PC network press ok yes to Ethernet 0 now right click and start please wait for a while till the time it is converted to blue color okay so you can see here that my Linux has been converted now double click so this image will comes up where it is loading a Kali Linux let let it load if this does not comes up means that there is a difference that you haven't uh, either you had a mistake in the permission level or else in the naming convention so you should must take care of this before adding this image to your EVNG okay, now it's asking for the root password username is Kali and the password is Kali okay so you can able to see that the username and the password both should be Kali and you can able to logged in okay so you can see here this is your default dashboard for your Kali Linux you can see under applications so these are all applications most recent use all the applications you can see then here is your browser here is your root terminal just click here you have PowerShell as well as root terminal emulator so this is all can able to working now it's asking for the password password should be Kali correct so you can see here that this is all working as root correct so this is how the installation of Kali Linux in EVNG works okay thanks for watching guys